This protocol uses three approaches to determine if cigarette smoke affects Pseudomonas bacterial load and lung epithelial cells. This method can be expanded to endocellular cells or other cell types. Preparation of the cigarette smoke extraction, bacterial infection, and the determination of the bacterial load are well described in detail in this video. This procedure is very easy to follow for the new users. Draw 10 milliliters of serum-free cell culture medium into a 60 milliliter syringe. Attach the narrow end of a trimmed 1 milliliter pipette tip to the nozzle of the syringe as an adapter to hold the cigarette. Remove the filter from the cigarette and attach the cigarette to the adapter. No more than 30 minutes before performing the assay, combust the cigarette and draw 40 milliliters of smoke-containing air into the syringe. Mix the smoke with the medium by shaking the syringe vigorously. Repeat the drawing process until the cigarette is completely burned out, which will require about 11 draws in approximately 7 minutes. To remove microorganisms and insoluble particles from the medium, filter it through a 0.22 micron filter, then transfer the medium to a closed sterile tube. Inoculate a triptych soy broth, or TSB, agar plate with a selected Pseudomonas strain. Incubate the plate overnight at 37 degrees Celsius. Prepare a tube containing 20 milliliters of TSB with 5% glycerol as the carbon source. Collect a